if you want to boost your FPS from this to this. In this video, I'm going to be going through some FPS boost optimization tricks that your FPS can go up to 4 to 500 however much you want it to do. Anyways, let's get into it. Fear Up Booster is the best program to boost your FPS and fix lag in any game. However, in this video, we'll specifically explain how you can use Gear Up Booster to increase FPS in Roblox and eliminate lag. Make sure to grab this program for free from the link provided in the description to enhance your gaming experience. Uh, just click on gaming, go ahead and find out one of these options. Once you click on gaming, you'll see this uh, Xbox Game Bar. So, automatically, you probably just want to turn this off, anyways. If you want, you can turn it on if you play with people on Xbox, but I'm assuming not many of you do. Uh, anyways, what you want to do next is go to captures on the left. Now, what you want to do is if, it, if, if record in the background while I'm playing a game is on, just go ahead and turn that off because, as you can see here, it says this may impact the quality of your game. If you turn it on, then it'll constantly be recording your game. And as you can see, See here i've already got it automatically set to four hours so it'll be recording your game for four hours that could clog up your storage and also make your fps horrible so go ahead and turn that off now for the next one we want to go to game mode on the left as well make sure that's on if it's off right now just go ahead and turn it on and then once you've done that it'll optimize your pc every time you open up roblox but to make it work even better go to graphic settings on the right which is under related settings uh if you can't find it then just search graphic settings and then pretty much what you want to do is go ahead and click on browse right here then you want to go to your primary drive then you want to go ahead and find roblox uh pretty much uh for me i go to my primary drive program files x86 then i scroll down all the way over to to Roblox and then go ahead and hit versions. Uh, click on this folder which has a version, then something random, and then click Roblox Player Launcher. And then once you add that, as you can see, it already says a specific app was already added. That's because I've already got it here. Go ahead and click on that, click options, and then uh, set that to high performance. It'll probably automatically just say let Windows decide. But if you set it to high performance on Roblox, then that means every time you play for Roblox, your performance will just be really good. Uh, anyways, now on to the next strip. Now that now go to my website, I give a link in the description and download the Roblox Increased Performance and FPS Pack. Well, and you'll see two uh, Roblox FPS unlockers. So one of them will be the uh, zip file, which has three books, which is a WinRAR for me. And the other one's the extracted version. Now with this extracted version, what you're gonna do is right click on it and then go ahead and hit create shortcut. Go ahead and drag that right next to the Roblox FPS unlocker that you just uh, uh, extracted right now. So now you should have three applications or like sort of folders or files open uh, on here on your desktop. Now you should have like three files uh, on your desktop right here. The zip file, the uh, FPS unlocker extracted and the extracted version as a shortcut. So the next thing you're gonna do is go ahead and hit uh, Windows key and R at the same time. Then go ahead and type in shell colon startup. Once you've done that go ahead and hit OK. Then what you want to do is uh, don't full screen uh, file explorer. What you want to do is go ahead and uh, put it to a point so you can see all of the three files right here. So once you've done this, what you can do is uh, the Roblox FPS Unlocker shortcut version that we've created. What you want to do is go ahead and click on that and then go ahead and drag that into folder right here. Now uh, you can close out of that. Now every time you open up uh, your PC, Roblox FPS Unlocker will open with it. So I don't have Roblox FPS Unlocker open right now, but obviously as you can see, if I open it right now, you'll see this. Uh, it looks like a command prompt but it's on your screen for about two seconds then it goes off and then uh the fps unlock is enabled then what you can do in game is go to the bottom right where the fps unlocker is if you can't see it on one of these icons and click on the arrow and then you'll see the fps unlocker right here but what you want to do is right click on the fps unlocker icon and then where it says uh fps cab you can hover over that and then choose uh, what you want to cap your fps at. i recommend you to just do none but uh verbals are, are automatically caps at 60 so whatever you want to do is probably going to be above 60 so for example i guess it's a 360 or I can literally just set it to none and then I'll just push as much FPS that, that my PC can generate as possible. And that's about it with the FPS unlocker. Now let's get into the tricks to get better FPS and ruin it. So once Razor Cortex is open, you should automatically be put on this page called My Library. You may have to sign up an account. I've just clicked Continuous Guest. But as you can see, uh, on My Library, I'll have all the games that you have. Obviously, it may just have Roblox or Roblox UWP. The difference is one is the Roblox Windows app. One of them is the actual Roblox like app that you play through the website. I have a few games here, as you can see. But yeah, uh, that's not what we want to be doing. Obviously, if you click on some of these games, you'll be able to uh, change some of the settings within. So what you want to do is go over to Boost right here. And then what you want to do is, uh, I mean, as you can see, it'll have some information here about boosting stuff. But yeah, go ahead and click Boost now if you're about to start playing a game. So what you want to do is go to System Boost on the top right here. And then go ahead and click scan right here. When you click this button that says scan, it'll start scanning your PC for cache, cake, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but it'll start scanning your PC for like bad files or junk. 
and uh, this will help speed up your PC and optimize your PC to speed it up. Just let it scan your PC first. Once it's done to 100%, go ahead and unpause this video and then continue. Okay, so guys, once the scan is done, you'll see this optimize button right here. And on the bottom, you'll be able to see uh, system clean, speed up your PC and defrag games. So on system clean, it'll say how much uh, uh, storage you have to be cleaned. As you can see, I have a whole 24 gigabytes of storage that I've had to clean for my PC by clicking the optimize button. Also, speed up for optimizing certain games uh, no items need to be optimized here, but for you, you may have some to be optimized because you've probably never used this before. I have used it before, so uh, but, uh, most like items they speak of uh, have already been optimized. That's also congratulations, no items need to be optimized. And then zero out of 15 games I have needs to be defragged. But if it does say any games do need to be defragged, go and select that as well. And I recommend all of them just being selected anyways, but I don't actually need any of them to be selected. I don't need these two to be selected because obviously uh, I don't need any to be optimized. I don't uh, have any games to be defragged. If you do have things to be optimized or do have uh, games to defrag that obviously select that then once you've done that hit is being optimized button in the middle then it'll start optimizing your pc as you can see on the bottom left is rapidly cleaning my pc it's already four percent done so as you can see it's already done 400 megabytes so i'm just going to let that uh clean up for a little bit obviously as you can see this has just been optimized and on the bottom left you can see that it says for me the 21.6 gigabytes of disk space has been Read you, it may also say that uh, your PC has been signed out. And then once you're on power options, you'll see all of these uh, power options you can enable. What you'll probably automatically have is balance, which is recommended. And then the other option here is ultimate performance, which I've already selected here. But uh, if you don't have ultimate performance as an option, then go ahead and press this drop down menu where it says hide additional plans. So we'll go ahead and select ultimate performance. Once you've done that, you'll get a lot better performance of video games. Uh, as you can see here, though, it does say provides ultimate performance on higher end PCs. So if it does make you lag a little bit more, then go ahead and deselect that and return back to balance but for me uh ultimate performance is pretty good for me Anyways, once you've done that, you can close out of that. Go ahead and click on Advanced System Settings. Now, once you've done this, this thing called System Properties should appear. Uh, what you're going to do then is go ahead and click on Settings right here on Performance. If it isn't already on Advanced, then click on Advanced and then click on Settings under Performance. Now, once you've done this, you'll see uh, a bunch of visual effects uh, performance options. So we're going to just adjust this so that you get a uh, bunch best performance. So if you could adjust for best performance here, it will just uh, automatically remove all the ticks on everything here. But you may not want it to do that because uh, once you press Apply, you'll see that like sudden effects you know, of a computer take place. Like for example, when I move uh, this uh, window around, you can see the outline moving around, but the app doesn't actually move in the outline with it as usual. So if you don't want that, you can go ahead and customize these settings. But if you really need good FPS on Roblox, then what I recommend you to enable is smooth edges uh, on screen fonts and show thumbnails instead of icons. Go ahead and enable that so that everything doesn't look really messed up on your computer. Some things may look not as good as you want it to. Like for example, if you're like dragging this up and down, you'll see that it only has outlines that does that a lot with like dragging things around uh if you uh, want to go back you can just go back open up uh, this setting and just click adjust for best appearance then it'll retake everything but yeah you want to go to adjust for best performance click smooth edges on, of screen fonts and click um and click shirt thumbnails as an icon now just hit apply on the bottom right so then click ok so guys hope you enjoyed this video so please make sure to subscribe my channel and like this video until the next video goodbye